This is a project that began in the most innocent possible way by reading to my eight-year-old son in bed. And we picked up the Little House books, which I'd never read as a child. The songs are everything. That's what's so cool to be in this, this place. Music was a part of literally saving my life. It's about tradition, and it's a critical thing to, to teach your children uh, where music come from. Pa Ingalls was a fiddler, and they were often making music and singing music. We had three channels on the TV and one of them had Little House on the Prairie. Yeah. So that was one of our favorite shows to watch as a family, you know. They just don't write them like that anymore. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> the best from Nashville. The best. Yeah. <laughs> Quite a show we have here tonight, and a wonderful band of musicians from right here in Nashville. It's going to be fun. Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Old man Tucker, you're too late to come to supper. There's a land that is fairer than day, and by fate we can see it afar. It was Pa's favorite song. And it was the song that he requested to be performed at his funeral. I prefer songs with a little more meat, if you want to put it that way. And so this was one of those that uh, I, I was happy to be doing here tonight. And the sweet by and by, we shall meet all that beautiful shore. There was music made around the hearth, there would be music made in church, there would be singing schools, and all of these things are represented in the Little House books. The in the stilly night, ere slumber's chain has bound me, sad memory brings the light of other days. It took on a different meaning to me to actually read about the song. It can definitely hit home for a lot of people. It does for me. Oh, I wish I was in the land of cotton. These songs that I'm singing tonight, written 200 years ago, and they're still very popular today. It's amazing songwriters in Nashville are just hoping that their song will last for a year. My arms have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are scored. That's what's amazing about these songs that have lasted for so long. And it just shows how timeless music can be. And that emotion that hit someone 250 years ago. We sold out, I took the train, I knew what I would find. Ingalls Wilder, when she was writing these books in the 1930s and 40s, expected the readers to hear the music because she heard the music. Oh, you buffalo guys, would you come out tonight? Come out tonight, come out tonight. Buffalo guys, would you come out tonight? It's pretty cool to hopefully carry that torch for our generation, and hopefully we're bringing a new uh, listener to uh, to some music. You just can feel it. Even if you don't know the story, you know that this came from some sort of tragedy that turned into hope. The greatest tragedy about this music would be if it were forgotten.
drag on behind. Oh. 